Hello everybody. So, so far we understood bag of words, TFID, word to vague, love. Now today we're going to learn about fast text. Let's understand what this fast text means. So you can, in, in very simple way, we can just say that fast text is the extended version of word to vague. This is something which has been developed by Facebook and this is relatively faster than word to vague and more efficient compared to word to vague. Let's have a comparative look. Let's try to compare this with word to vague. So, so far, if you have not seen the word to vague video, I strongly recommend you uh, check out the playlist right i'll provide the link in the, into the description section in the playlist these are the two videos 16th and 17th i highly recommend you just have a look on these two videos these are not too long just eight minutes each approximately after watching this video you will be able to uh in you will be in very well position to understand this concept okay so i'm assuming that you have seen that now let's move forward what happened in word to wake in word to wake model breaks the input by words so the smallest unit is word in word to wake for example if you supply this this input this uh, this will be broken down in the words like this i love learn area right or the at the other hand if you supply the same input in fast text what it does is it also breaks these sentence into the words but it includes them into the ang angular bracket all right that's fine what next it also accepts another parameter which is called ngram so you can supply value over here either three four five six or whatever you want usually we use it in uh, range between three to six now how does this helps or what does this mean so let's say we supplied this value this input it broke it in, broken it down like this now after this when it accepts this parameter it applies on each of the words what exactly happens it will just let, let's consider this word okay so th this this will just split this word something like this angular bracket l o then l o v then o v e then v e angular bracket so if you observe it is making pair um uh, i mean in each of the set it is keeping just three characters one two three then again starting from l o v then again starting from o v e and so on right so fast text we can say that it works on character level at the other hand word to wake we have which works on word level i just hope that it is clear now what is the benefit of it so biggest benefit is here the chances of going out of vocabulary which we generally face in word to wake are minimized right those chances are minimized let me show you an example so for that matter let's say here we are in jupyter notebook and here i have trained a word to wake model here uh, i try to find the similar words words similar to amazing right but just in case if i type amaze right and when we try to find something similar to similar to it it says key amaze not present in vocabulary why because this was just the part of amazing and this thing will not happen in fast text all right so this is a biggest advantage which we have over what to make all right so i just hope that it was clear to you now let's move forward and try to set up the fast text to set the fast text the um, there is one challenge to set uh, to set up the fast text in this is uh, this is window environment i am working in window environment fast text is basically designed for mac or linux right it is compatible over there so when you install in windows you might get some error okay that error could be something like this right microsoft visual basic uh, sorry microsoft visual c++ etc this is not available and so on so what you actually need to do is you need to start with fast pip install fast text 
right because i have already installed it so i won't install it but when you do it for the first time you will get this kind of error and when you get this error in fact i was also troubled with this error and i uh, struggled a, lo uh, a lot right i you know explored the net a lot and ultimately i got this video i really appreciate this uh, the, this this person right aditya thakur right he has created this video and this is really helpful i also recommend you when you get this error just check out this video right i will give the link into this video and the credit goes to aditya takral for uh, solving this error okay now let's get back so after having this installed i'm assuming that you would have installed it you just need to import this so let's import it all right this is done now <clears throat> in the fast text like uh, in word to wake also we saw in globe also we saw that we have already trained models and we also have facility to train our own model so let's start with the models which are already trained so when you go to the fast text website right and just scroll it down here you will get some models which have been already trained right so let's say here are the models these all are the models which have already been trained right so out of this you can choose uh, let, let's go with english one right and for this you would get two kind of words and one is binary the other one is text let's go with binary right let's try to choose binary one okay so where you need to download this and this one file is quite used this will be somewhere 4 gb right but fortunately i already have it downloaded so i won't download it you see here 4.2 gb so i'm just going to cancel this because i already have it downloaded and when we start downloading it's gonna take a lot of time right so once you do the download what's gonna happen is it will give you a file something like this so currently you see this is uh this is bin file right but when you download it it will be bin.zz right something like this let me show you its name uh the the file format will be or let's just see if it is available over here uh, you see over here the extension says bin.zz right so this kind of file will be downloaded now how to extract this that's that's something which comes into the mind right how to extract it so for that you can use the git bash command here you see here git bash command this is the git bash command i have used to you know uh, extract it so first thing you need to do is once you are done with downloading that will be available in your download folder by default or wherever you have kept it just use cd command and put the location in the same format okay once you are into that folder just run this command once you are done with running this command you will have the file something like this all right so this is it now after that all that you require to do is just use that over here okay so here i have already created that let me try to copy paste so that we won't be wasting the time in typing the things okay now let's run this so i have just executed it and it is loading the model I'll just pause the video till. All right, so now we have our model loaded. Let's try using this. So first of all, let's uh, say this. And what are the functions that we have to use over here, right? These all are the functions that you can try using, right? You uh, on from this model, okay? So let's just try to find get. Uh, nearest neighbors first okay so let's try to put any word for example let's say learning okay so when you try this particular word let's see what all are the nearest word that we're gonna get over here my system is a little slow as of now all right so here we got 
the most similar word learning le, um, i mean learning is leering sorry it's not a correct word but this is something which we have available in our model so this looks like the most similar one now let's try putting love right and when you do so what is it that you're gonna get over here see adore this 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 all this kind of so this is the this is something which is the nearest one now let me try the other one f model dot sub words there is one function which is let me just see if that comes up get sub words okay and let's try to put love over here so if you can relate it the example which i was showing you in the very beginning right over here where we had value for n equals to 3 so we were getting this kind of subsets now here it has 4 right so you see how it is making right love lov angular bracket then and so on right so let's try putting something learn area okay and then you see now this make uh, makes more sense you see it is making set of five characters right you see over here now if you put over here the complete sentence learn area is great place okay now what you see over here it doesn't perform this work on each of the word individually rather it takes the input and it does on uh, you know on, on on the whole string so what i showed you over here please don't get confused that it will do for each of the words separately right it will do this work on whole supplied text okay so i just hope that you're not getting confused <clears throat> so this is how you can find the sub words for a word then other thing which we have over here is there are many other things which you can explore and then the next one which we can find useful is get analogy so what analogy is let me say so you see its parameter here it asks word a word b and word c so what it does is it will utilize these two words as input and find the relationship between these two words and the third word which you provide over here right so basis on the relation between these two words it will find the relative word for this one let me try to give you an example for example let's say here you have reading okay and here you have books then next thing let's say you have playing right so books is for reading let's see what we have for playing right and here we have to supply the value for k let's say 10 so what you see over here is playing uh, for playing similar thing we have watching enjoying etc all right so same in the same fashion you can find it for you can try this for many other things for example let's take a place called delhi right and here i would say noida and let's supply over here um, tokyo let's see what happens so what you see is noida and delhi are in india tokyo is part of japan so you see similar things which are coming over here right these are the cities in india and now you are getting it in japan uh, th this is the city from uh, capital from uh, capital of japan japan right so you are getting first the most similar thing or most uh, relevant thing which you are getting is japan right so in the same fashion there are many other functions uh, available into this one right i highly encourage you to go ahead and try to check them all uh, i mean not all if whatever you want you can just try and utilize right these are really useful one okay so this is it in this video i don't want to make it too long so just practice it if you don't practice you won't learn anything see you in the next one where we would try to use our own data to train the model